Elon Musk has just warned that World War III is almost inevitable. We should expect it sooner than later. What is more worrying is that the war will be fully autonomous. It will be a war that the world has never seen. Join me in this video as we explore what Elon Musk has to say about World War III. The highly intelligent Elon Musk predicts that we will soon experience a deadly World War III. The tech icon's predictions come at an interesting time when there are high tensions between different countries. Most people are worried about the war threats between North Korea and the US. But it is the current crisis between Russia and Ukraine that makes the threat of World War III more real. It could easily trigger the Third World War. The US military is more than ready to face Putin's army in case Russia makes a mistake in attacking Ukraine. The escalating economic tensions between China and America could also spark the war. Musk believes that the foundation of all wars is economics. It is a pity that we may not avoid another global war as hinted by Musk. Have a look at how he predicts the war. We don't know, but there's likely to be another Dark Ages, which it seems, my guess is there probably will be at some point. I'm not, I'm not predicting that we're about to enter the Dark Ages, but that there's some probability that we will, particularly if there's a Third World War. Then we want to make sure that there's enough of a, of a seed of human civilization somewhere else to bring civilization back and perhaps uh, shorten the length of the Dark Ages. You know, I think that's why it's, it's important to get a self-sustaining base, um, ideally on Mars, because Mars is far enough away from Earth that a, that a war on Earth, the Mars base might survive. It's more likely to survive than a Moon base. But I think a Moon base and a Mars base that, um, that could perhaps help regenerate life back here on Earth would be really important. And to get that done, before a possible World War III. You know, last, last century we had two massive world wars, three if you count the Cold War. I think it's unlikely that we will never have another world war again. Um, there probably will be at some point. It, it just could be radioactive rubble. So, well, if you say given enough time, will it be most likely? Given enough time. This, this, is, this is, has been our pattern in the past. By now, you could probably be worrying about what could cause World War III. Well, worry no more, as Musk has the perfect answer for you. And guess what? The war will be caused by artificial intelligence. The highly intelligent Elon Musk believes that competition for AI superiority among the US, China, and Russia will be the cause of World War III. It will be an AI race just as it was during the arms race which led to the Cold War. Even Russia's Putin believes that whoever makes a breakthrough in AI will finally rule the world. The Russian president also warned that no single country should be allowed to have a monopolist in AI as it is strongly undesirable. The Tesla founder and CEO believes that AI will make killer robots. We cannot with safety ignore Musk's warning about World War III. The tech-savvy CEO has what it takes to be trusted. He fully understands AI and machine learning since his companies Tesla and Neuralink use the same concepts. AI is being used to make Tesla's autopilot feature and Neuralink has a goal of connecting human brains with computers. Moreover, he has business interest in OpenAI, which is a non-profit AI research company. As such, we cannot ignore the words of the tech genius lightly. Let us just prepare for World War III. According to the Tesla and SpaceX CEO, World War III will be fully autonomous. The superintelligent beings that will be made by humans will turn against their creators. In an interview, the tech billionaire makes it clear that the superintelligent beings may initiate the world war on their own without any human intervention. The tech expert gives a clear explanation on how AI can start the war. Have a look. But the, the, the thing that's uh, most dangerous is uh, and, and it's the hottest to kind of wrap, um, kind of get your arms around because it's not a physical thing, is a, kind of a deep intelligence in the network. Um, you say, well, what harm could a deep intelligence in the network do? So, well, it could start a war um, by, create, by doing fake news and spoofing email accounts and fake press releases and just by, you know, manipulating information. The pen is mightier than the sword. Um, let's say if you had a, an AI that was, uh, where the AI's goal was to maximize the value of a portfolio of stocks, um, one of the ways to maximize value would be to uh, go uh, long on defense, short on consumer, start a war. Um, and 
then uh, how could it do that? Well, you know, hacking into the Malaysian Airlines uh, 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 rat aircraft routing server, a route it over a war zone, um, then send an anonymous tip that an enemy uh, aircraft is flying overhead right now. The tech billionaire firmly believes that AI should be regulated just as nuclear weapons are being regulated. AI can be very dangerous if not regulated. Musk and some other like-minded people have written to the UN requesting them to regulate AI. The world's richest man has warned that we have more to fear from AI than North Korea's nuclear weapons. In an interview, Elon highlights the role of the government in regulating AI. Check it out. I think the first order of business would be to gain insight. Right now, the government does not even have insight. Um, and I, I think the, the right order of business would be to stand up a regulatory agency, initial goal, gain insight into the status of um, AI activity, um, uh, make sure it, the situation is, is understood. Um, once it is, then put regulations in place to ensure public safety. So the, the rate of improvement is really dramatic. We have to figure out some way to ensure that the advent of digital superintelligence is one which is symbiotic with humanity. I think that's the single biggest existential crisis that we face, and the, and the most pressing one. I, I'm not normally an advocate of regulation and oversight. I mean, I think one should generally go on the side of minimizing those things. But this is a case where you have a very serious danger to the public. And so therefore, there needs to be a public body that um, has insight and then oversight on to confirm that everyone is uh, developing AI safely. Um, this is extremely important. Um, I think the danger of AI is much greater than the, the, the danger of nuclear warheads by a lot. Um, and nobody would suggest that we allow anyone to just build nuclear warheads if they want. That, that would be insane. And, Mark my words, AI is far more dangerous than nukes. Far. So why do we have no regulatory oversight? This is insane. Despite the Earth's risks of being destroyed by World War III, Musk has some hope for the human race. The SpaceX CEO plans to take us to Mars even before the Earth gets destroyed. To many, Elon Musk is the savior of the world. He plans to send the first crewed mission to Mars in 2026. It is estimated that the space enthusiast would have created a self-sustaining city on the Red Planet by 2050. In an interview, the tech icon makes clear his plans of saving humans when the human civilization on Earth is destroyed. Have a look. Life as we know it is multi-planetary, then the probable length of existence of human civilization is much greater. So, I mean, I think there are two, there really, I think there are two main motivations for, for Mars. I mean, one is, is the sort of defensive reason of saying, okay, if if something were to happen to, to Earth, do, is, is life as we know it, does it end? Uh, or if it's on another planet, then it probably doesn't end. A multi-planet civilization is likely to last a lot longer than a single planet civilization. Elon Musk thinks that the race for AI superiority will cause World War III. According to Elon Musk, the UN Security Council can avoid a fully autonomous World War III if they regulate AI. Hopefully this gets to UN Security General Mr. Antonio Guterres. Thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe with all notifications enabled so that you don't miss out on the latest Elon Musk news. Anyways guys, if you want to see more interesting videos, click the video right above.